Hi, right, Matt with the E-Trailer, and today we're going to be talking about the Kuat Piston Pro X bike rack on the back of our 2022 Nissan Rogue. Now, this is going to be one of our most premium racks on our website, and it's going to be able to haul a variety of different types of bikes. So let's take a closer look at it. It's going to have a 67-pound uh, weight capacity per bike, holding up the two of them. Now, that's not going to influence its tilting capacity too bad, so if I tilt it away just like this, you notice it's pretty extreme. I've had some other ones that do have the ability to carry e-bikes like this one can, and they can't tilt away as far. But with the tilted away like this, you notice we have access to our hatch. That's gonna be great if you need to put any groceries back here, or if you wanna take out your gear and get ready for your ride. And then after when it's all closed up, we can come back to the back of it, lift up on it until it's in the seated position. Now I will say, this already is kind of heavy, so if you have two heavy e-bikes on here, that's going to be a little bit of a lift, so keep that in mind. Now, if you want to take a closer look at the rack, we're going to take off a bike. So I just like to go more over here to the back tire first. We'll have this button, you just press on it, and that's going to release our pistons, which releases our arms, because we have a dual wheel mount system today, and that's, what, that's going to allow you to carry alternative and carbon frame bikes. It's a really quick and easy system to use. I'm a big fan of it. But when your bike is off, you can take it for a ride. With it off, we can look at our trays now. And that's gonna be able to accommodate a couple different tire sizes. From your skinny, to your standard, to your five inch fat tires. You wanna make sure you put your arms back down. A lot of times you'll notice if you push this one too far, it won't lift up on its own. So what you have to do is press that button again, and then you have that ability to put it all the way back down. Now we can get some measurements. Let's see how this is gonna fit back here. So going from my back bumper to the back of the carrier, that's gonna be about 24 inches, which is actually pretty good. Now I still keep in mind if you're in a tight spot, like a parking spot or garage, just watch out for that. As for our ground clearance, that's going to be a little bit over 19 inches, which is actually pretty good. Now, the caveat off of that, though, is if you do have those e-bikes on here, you are going to have to lift them all the way up here, which gives you a little bit of a lift. But if you don't have any bikes on here, you can fold this up to save some space. It'll click into place right here. Now this one does sit pretty close to the car we have today. The distance between our pistons and vehicle, it's only gonna be half an inch. But it is pretty sturdy, as you can see right here. It really doesn't move, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. But how far it's gonna stick out completely is gonna be a little bit over 10 inches. So that's gonna save you a lot of space overall. Now how it's going to interact on the back of your car, it's actually doing a really good job. It's not going to block anything. Your license plates are going to be fine. Your backup camera might pick up a little bit of it, but that's more of a good thing because if you are backing up, you want to make sure you're not getting too close with your carrier too. And your taillights and back window won't be obstructed either. And for how it's going to install, it's going to go into our two inch hitch receiver. Then we'll have a pin that goes through there and connects to a locking core. And at the very end of it, we have this anti-rattle device. What's really nice about this is we have this included tool to tighten this and loosen it up. And the way and where this attaches to is at the very top of the carrier. You can lock this in place so no one can come by and take it right off. Now what sets this rack apart from other carriers is going to be these lights we have on it. We don't have any wiring installed on our car today, so we can't show you that. But if you do get this rack, just make sure you have some four pole wiring so you can use the lights included on this. Overall, this is gonna be a solid choice if you are looking for a very premium rack that can hold a variety of different types of bikes. And if you like those lights being installed on it too, to give you that extra safety, it's gonna be great for you. Now for this particular one we have today, the two bike version is, I'd actually recommend just getting the Kuat Piston Pro 
because we still have our lights or our tail lights on here that aren't being blocked. So having two sets of lights is nice and all, but I don't think you need that extra lights on here. But if you liked everything you saw today, that's just a look at the Kuat Piston Pro X bike rack on the back of our 2022 Nissan Rogue. We're gonna take it out here on the test course. First thing we're gonna do is hit the bumps. We're just gonna see what it's like if we did hit some speed bumps. I'm watching the bike, watching how it holds on the tires. It looks like it moves just a little bit, not too much. This is mostly standard with other bike racks, so nothing to worry about. The bike doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Now we're gonna go a little bit faster in the parking lot. I'm gonna take some aggressive turns and see how it handles there. Looks like it's fine. I see a little movement again, but again, the bike's not going anywhere, so I don't have to worry about it.